Hello everyone. Today I will talk about reference and citation in latex overleaf. The reference and citation are very important in thesis paper or any kind of research paper. Referencing and citation is the process of acknowledging the sources you have used in your thesis or research paper. That means the information you have used in your thesis paper, you are giving the credit of the original author. Without referencing the source, that will be considered as plagiarism, which is a very serious academic offense. So, reference and citations are very important. Today, I will show you how to add reference and citations in latex overleaf. Now, I will write down something on latex file and we will add proper reference and citation. Now, I am writing this. We have taken this definition from a book. We have to reference that book. There are two ways of referencing in latex overleaf. One is we can write down the bibliographic item inside the main text or we can create external bibliographic file. I will show you the both ways. So let's get started. So how can we reference citation without creating external bibliographic file? So first of all, we have to write down begin. Then we have to write down the bibliography. So here we have to write down bib item. Inside the bib item, we have to give a name. I mean, it is the ID by which we will call it. So that ID is very important. So you have to write down the name of the ID. So I am giving it ID1 and you can give a proper name. It is not the standard way of writing down like this ID1, ID2. So how can we write down the proper name? To write down the proper name, you can follow a pattern like you can write down the first name of the author with the year and you can use a specific name which is relating that bibliography. So here I have written down just ID1. Then I will write down the reference. So this is the reference of that book. The information we have taken from this book so we are giving the proper credit of the original author this one are the name of authors and this is the name of the book this is the publisher name this is the edition and this is the publishing year to reference any book we have to give this information so if we click on recompile let's see here we can see our reference is written here but we have to cite that reference to cite that reference, we have to write down slash cite. Inside the curly braces, we have to write down the ID name of that reference. So we have to take in information, this information from this bibliography. So we will write down ID of that bib item and it is ID 1. If we recompile it, let's see number 1. So this is the number 1 reference. That means we have taken this information from reference number one. This is the first way, but this is not the standard way. Now I will show you the standard way of reference and citation. So we have to create a bibliographic file to do this. Let's see. Here I have created a new latex file. So here I will write down the text. So then we have to create an external bibliographic file. So we will create a B file. To create a file, we will click on new file. Then write down the name reference.b. The extension will be .b. We can follow the standard way. Now I am taking you a website. This is the official website of Latex Overlip. Here we can see the format of referencing a book in B file. So I will copy it. No problem. I will give you the website link on my video description box from here you can use it so now i will paste it on the b file so now i will remove it and i will write down the author of that book the information i have taken then i have to write down the year i will write down this you have to just edit the information title means the name of the book just remove it and paste then publisher then edition edition is three and here you can see 
the name it means the id so of course we have to give a unique id by which we will call it so now i am giving a name it is id1 suppose we have compiled but there is no such result in it no result because we didn't cite it now we have to cite that reference to cite the reference what we have to do first of all we have to include this reference.b file inside main text file we have to write down bibliographic style a lot of bibliographic styles here you can see but we will select plain then we have to write down bibliography inside this we have to include the bib file here you can see reference.bib we have created an external bibliographic file we have to include that file to include that file inside bibliography we have to write down the bib file and it is reference.bib we have included the bib file with main text so to cite the reference i mean that bibliographic item i mean if you want to cite this and write the keyword it is cite then you have to write down the id name here we have the id it is id1 write down id1 if we recompile it let's see here we can see the references here and you can see we have cited that reference it is one it means reference number one which is cited here that means we have taken the information from reference number one this is how you can reference a book and you can cite that reference in latex overlap this is very simple here i have given this website link and here you have a lot of bibliographic type for example book article in proceedings phd thesis then in book in collections misc you can reference any website then you can use this one here i have displayed you how to reference a book so you can reference any article journal any website etc there are a lot of more just you can uh, go to that website and there are a lot of formats of bibliographic item so if you want to reference a book then you have to write down this format and if you want to reference an article then follow this format so if you want to add any conference paper then uh, use this format so you can see here we have given the references this is this one and this one is almost same here we have created an external b file but here we didn't create any external b file so there are two ways in reference and citation one is uh, without external bibliographic file another one is a reference with external bibliographic file creating the bibliographic file this is the standard one in internationally it is used for reference and citations but here you can see the reference and text are on the same page if we want the reference will be on the separate page or other page so what we have to do then do it like this just before the bibliography we have to write down new page so it will take this reference on the new page here you can see the reference on another page here you can also change the reference on the other page write down new page and then click on recompile it will also take the reference another page this is how we can reference and citation in latex overlip i have just shown you referencing a book if you take any information from any journal paper conference paper if you take any information from website then you can also do it so here we have this website and here you have a lot of format then you can use it if you take any information from any uh, website then you can use uh, this format misc here you can see you have to give it a name then author name title here not url url means the website link you will copy it then you have to paste it on the b file then you have to give it a name then change it so then you have to edit uh, this one according to the reference you are using so this is how we can easily reference and citations in latex overlap this is very simple